another Thanksgiving. <laughs> and finally open to the vlog. Thank you. Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning and I'm very thankful this morning that you are here with us on This Is How We Bingham preparing for Thanksgiving feast. I'm thinking Thanksgiving is not tomorrow. You're like, wait, does he know what day it is? No, it is not Thursday the Thanksgivingeth. It is Saturday the day before we are doing a family dinner here for Mindy's family here at the house. Our family Thanksgiving with her side of the family. So yes. and we are celebrating later on actual Thanksgiving yes. with Brandon's side of the family. Yep, so we're gonna get two for and they're getting two Thanksgiving dinners, but that this one eat pie is gonna be here at our house. That's what mom's got going on here today. I see she's already got the table set, ready to go on that one. Yes, no one's allowed to sit there. No touchy. And then I can smell, what are those called? Hard boiled eggs? Yeah. Deviled eggs? Yeah, I can smell those. They're going I off. I know, sorry, but I have a cute little cooker that's doing it for me. It's containing it a little bit. It is a stormy looking day out there. And it reminded me, and mom, who reminded me, that we need to get the pool chairs, pool loungers, pull them in, organize that pool garage a little bit. It's time to officially say farewell to the swim I season, know. to the swimming pool use. And we could still get in if we wanted. You saw cold through the polar you plunge. You acted like you wanted to the do that. The cold plunge was kind of cool. Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> We're just not gonna be laying out. So time no. to bring in the chairs, clean out that garage, deflate the floaty. So Rag and I are gonna jump on that, take care of that, get everything organized, Good. pulled in. I'll take care of that while you got some Thanksgiving dinner things going on. Then Rag and I wanted to get some driving hours in. So we think we might head out and maybe do a fun quick drive to Best Buy. And then, well, it's just a, it's a destination. It's like, you have to put in a destination when you get the driving hours. Maybe I should take hours. regular shopping to Target then. Destination. <laughs> you could, he would love it. And it's you would like love it. whatever you purchase while driving with Ryler doesn't count. You and Rag, I have plenty to do. I've got yeah. plenty to do in here. Let's divide, break, conquer, do it, and be thankful. Sad when the winterizing folks came and got the yard all prepped. They ripped out my favorite tree. This little, I don't know what you'd call it, apparently it died and was not going to come back, so they just took it out. But I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. It's got two drip lines popping out right there, and it should have been getting water. Watch a fun movie or show. I think Mr. Beast just uploaded. Oh yeah, Seven Days Buried Alive. Let's check that one out. Oh. We're here at Best Buy. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the next seven days buried alive under 20,000 pounds of dirt. Bury me alive. It's gotta be terrifying. Yeah, this is pretty much most people's worst fear. Oh my gosh, that dirt is terrifying. <laughs> Okay, stop recording this, that's so cool. Full flurry of activity up here in the kitchen. Mom, wow, what do we got? I see stuffing. I see like the base layer to a dessert. I see some whipping cream. What do we I have? I know, started the stuffing, got the stuff that I need for did that. Did you remember that it takes twice as long as you think? Yes, okay, I did. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to walk in from church tomorrow and like throw it together. So fun little like behind the scenes. Mom's also in charge of a portion of the discussion the second hour of church, so she can't even really like bail or leave it if she wanted to. No, I'm teaching tomorrow, so I can't do that. Stuffing is getting ready. This is a raspberry pretzel salad. I've made deviled eggs. I'm going to make honey butter. I saw you checking off your list. I feel like you got a handful of things done. Yeah, what else have I done? I had to make a post-it note. I started the sweet potatoes. Those will be finished up tomorrow. Got the rolls out. Nope. I got the pans out to make okay, rolls. Okay, okay, okay. Good tomorrow. thing you're keeping on track here. Mom, that had a bunch of stuff. You're clearing things out over right here. Wow. And I've got the electric knife out. That's what Ooh, your favorite. I call it a buzz saw. And the platter we use oh, one time a year. It has one purpose. If you can't see, I don't know if you can tell. It's a turkey. So yeah, we're getting ready. The kitchen is a buzz right now with that Activity. Thankful and grateful for the upcoming holiday for me? and for mom for cooking all this food. Thank you. You're the best. It's gonna be fun. Also, I went out with Rag Eye, did a little bit of driving. As you know, we went to Best Buy. I was texting this actually to some of our friends that I'm shocked at how uninterested or unimpressed kids are with technology these oh days. My God. I'm sitting there in the Best Buy parking lot with a visor strapped to my face that can digitally put a video screen in front of me that I can grab with my hand and move around and watch videos on YouTube or play yeah. games, do all these different things. I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm like, Wait, this. So, did you take your Steam Deck or your Oculus? Oculus? to Best Buy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Right, I was driving. I could just sit in the really passenger didn't do that. seat and play. No, I did find out. But you can't play it while driving. <laughs> Obviously not <laughs> in the driver's seat. You can't play it while moving in a car because it can't find itself because it's moving too much. Too many things are moving around. I see my old face. Too many things are moving around, so it wouldn't track, and so okay, it just wouldn't so let it. Do. So we were Milo's sitting in the bar. <laughs> Mindy, we were sitting in the Best Buy parking lot doing nothing. It was specifically just to see if it worked, and but it did, and it was know awesome. That it I literally work if you're driving. watched the Mr. Beast video sitting in the passenger seat of the car with like Best Buy there, right guy there. I could see it. Perfectly. Anyway, I have six children. I don't even know. What's <laughs> uh, but I mean, the point of that was not how irresponsible I am as a parent. It was how unimpressed kids are with technology. These are the kinds of things that we would have seen in sci-fi, oh. futuristic movies, and been like, that'll oh, never yeah. happen. I oh, believe yeah. that we'll have hoverboards because Back to the Future maybe believe that we will. Yeah. We're not going to be able to grab some screen out of the digital air, type on it, swipe through, watch a video. There's no way that actually happens. I'm sitting there doing it, and he's like, "Yeah, neat." So, um, what do you want for dinner? It's like, man, these kids were living in a more futuristic future they than really we even are. imagined was possible. I know. It's gonna get wild. Okay, well the future is looking pretty good for tomorrow at least because we have a great dinner on tap. Prep continues, table set, Hazy's here. It's almost time, Thanksgiving baby. All right guys, Thanksgiving prep continues in full swing here. And we got the kids helping out now because we're gonna throw a feast of this size. You need to call in all. Call in the big guns. He's got the big guns right here. Brexit Doodle, he's got the guns. He's also got some onions sauteing. Is that what you got going on over here? What are you doing, Brexit? I don't know. You don't know? I know Kruby was over here man in the stove. He's excited to be cooking in the kitchen. This dude loves to cook. In fact, I think in an upcoming vlog, he would like to cook us some steaks. Steaks for the whole family. So he's been working on some steaks, perfecting his method, and he'd like to do that for the it family. It was so good. I want to make him again. I it wish so you were cooking dinner today, but today's all about the turkey. Mom, all about you. Just kidding, the turkey. <laughs> Kruby's over here shaking up the dried bread. These are like actual croutons. Wait, Mindy, is this for your stuffing? Yes. Do you remember that it takes almost three hours to cook? We're eating in like an it's an hour and a half, we're eating in two hours. I don't know what of that was accurate. I feel like you know what you're doing, so I'll trust you. I do. Do you though, when it comes Just to stuffing, do you? I do. Okay. No. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> got family, guests arriving, getting the table fully set, all of the food finished up, so many good things out there. I'm not a big fan, we've already discussed this, of turkey, basically anything that's on the Thanksgiving dinner table, but it does smell amazing, it all looks really good. Sometimes you have a little bit of an overflow on pies and other things that don't fit upstairs, but one of the things that we intentionally stick down here, the deviled eggs, because they stink to high heaven. And as soon as you open the refrigerator upstairs, it will fill the entire main level with that smell, and it's kind of a smell of like, I don't know, almost like a dirty diaper or something, it's really bad. We keep those down here, so the smell doesn't make it up to the main level, but it is time now to get these out to bring them upstairs, finish the last preparations for the actual feast that is upcoming, and then ceremonially, I will cut turkey. I did not cook it this year. I did it one year, and I think everybody liked it, but then I was never asked to do it again, so I don't know how much they liked it, but Papa cooked the turkey. I'm gonna carve it. We're gonna get this feast underway. Oh my gosh, I think it's cut like butter. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I didn't, I didn't cook this. It's definitely juicy, tender. No, no, no. We spent whole morning cooking so it. So I actually just set this downstairs, but I was like, I did cook the turkey one year, and I thought it was good, but I've never been asked to cook it again. That so. is true. What was wrong with the turkey? I don't I thought I remember it being pretty good. It was the Traeger year. Is that when I did it? Nice think so. Or did we try and deep fry one? We never tried that, have no, we? That's no, that's dangerous. Thank you, Maddie. Did you say that again into the camera, please? Wow, whoever cut 
this turkey oh, no. did an amazing <laughs> job. Hey, thank you. No, she didn't say who cooked it. She said who cut it. And I cut it like a boss. Real quick, walk through to me what everything is. So this is raspberry pretzel salad. I've never made it oh, before. Oh, baby. And I've wanted to make it so many times, but it seems the ingredients are always gone every time I try. So have an egg early paid off. Okay, yes. all right, got this one. And then classic frog eye salad. I've been having this since I was a kid. Yes. Classic. It's so good. But rolls, rolls because you have it. to have a little bit of inappropriate conversation at the dinner table. <laughs> These are Ruth's Chris Poppy Cat Sweet Potatoes. Oh, I'm excited to try those. Deviled eggs. Oh. My brother made green beans, but I think they have a lot of Parmesan cheese in them. They have another version of yams or sweet potato. I don't know what those are. My dad likes them. I'm trying hey. to switch him from those to these. Trying to convert him. My very favorite stuffing recipe, ham, mashed potatoes, turkey, and gravy. And there it is. And then a fun drink on the table, the yes. cranberry Sprite 7-Up Mix. 7-Up recipe seven is up. also on the blog. Oh, interestingly enough, yes. it is. Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm finally open to the vlog. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap on Thanksgiving. Wait, I'm still going. Oh, okay, never mind. There's still pie and still leftovers for days. And this is what's great. I'm saying this sarcastically because I don't like Thanksgiving food, but I love your food. Such but we get to up. eat the Thanksgiving <laughs> leftovers for the next four to five days as we build up to Thanksgiving. But then we have dinner and we refresh our leftovers. <laughs> Guys, I can't get enough of this turkey and stuffing. I don't know why we do this. We make so much food. So much food. I feel like you have to. You can't have people show up for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, but it's like the it's recipe like makes a big a bowl. A ton. So yeah, we send everybody home with their own little individual leftovers. We keep some for ourselves. I had that thought. All we're doing is getting ready to get new leftovers on Thursday. So I personally feel like we are done now. It's time to start moving our minds into Christmas. We Wait, have Thanksgiving. you heard it, kids! I Put up the tree! No, I'm 100% on board. I'm now there. I want to watch a Christmas movie tonight. Almost snowing outside. We're on a winter storm watch right now. Wind and rain and highs of 30s for the next 10 days. It's happening, people. Now I know most of you here in the United States, you still have Thanksgiving coming up. I don't want to rob you of that. We are doing a Thanksgiving with my side of the family. It's Which will be, be a lot of A couple fun. hours away. Pretty big deal. Full day events. We'll still be doing that. Having that here in the home, I don't know, full flashbacks of our first ever Thanksgiving here last year at this yeah. time. In fact, we had up the movie of us building the home. You guys haven't seen that. Posted an entire full length movie of all of the parts of building the home. Just the home building process. So it's really just from end to end, full like five yeah, and a half hours, it's it just home building. a lot of editing. I was able to find, I think, all of the main moments and details and put it in there. So anyways, check that out if you haven't. It's it, awesome. It's a fun one. It's one that we'd just love to have for ourselves to just treasure having that in its entirety. Oh, we had that playing on the screen as we were having Thanksgiving and it just brought me back to, it was last year at this time that we had just moved in. Our very first ever hosted family party and we hosted a Thanksgiving in here. Yeah, yeah here wonderful. we are again, full circle, a year later, and it was fantastic. It was amazing, you guys. We love inviting you into our home. Thank you so much for being here with our family. We love you so much. Make sure you come back tomorrow. See you guys later. Good night, everybody. Bye. Mm, mm, mm. I love Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm finally open to the vlog. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>